a woman who's helping to take pole dancing from the strip club to the fitness club and became the U.S. pole dancing champion is showing Sherry how to work out by working the pole and exposing why some people want to make it an Olympic event. All that, hot topics and more coming up live on The View. So today, the U.S. pole dancing champion is showing Sherry how to work the pole and telling us why it's a serious sport, one that may even be fit for the Olympics. Please welcome Natasha Wang. Hello. Hey. Natasha. So, Natasha, you just won the National Championship of the United States Pole Dancing Federation. Yes. Many people think that pole dancing should be in the Olympics. What is your opinion on that? I, I think it's, it's great, and I totally support the organizations that are pushing for that. Um, I personally feel like it's going to take a little bit more time, uh -huh. just for people's perception well, people to catch up. People have a different perception of it. They think yeah. it's like strippers, right? And you've, and you've never been a stripper yeah. at all. Stripper. Oh. <laughs> so tell me, because we do think of strippers, how did of you course. get into this? Um, I, a friend of mine dragged me to an intro class at a studio, and that was six and a half years oh. ago. And yeah, I loved it. So, and while you were doing it for a long time, you would get into the competitions. You didn't use your real name. You didn't tell your parents. You didn't yeah. tell your family. So how come, if, you, if this is what you were doing as a serious sport, how come you were afraid to tell people about it? You know, there's still the public perception. There's still a stigma against pole dancing as a sport. And, you know, for a long time, I was proud of what I could do, but I was just, you know, worried that people were going to think automatically that I you know, was an exotic dancer. Okay, and well, I want you to show us what you see. got. Okay. Let's see. We're going to step back so we can watch. Yeah. Come on, Joy. For Steve and Sal. Yes. <laughs> you, well, you know, you're engaged oh, yeah. and I'm engaged. I, is there, I can't do that, but can you show me one thing I could probably yes. do? Yeah, I can't do yeah, all that. Sherry, go ahead. Let's okay, see this. So all this right, take off my shoes. Sherry okay. will do anything. Yes, I will. <laughs> what, what is the one? Oh, okay. gosh, I'm so nervous. Okay. So this is, this is a cradle spin. Okay. So you want to use, are you right handed or left? I'm right handed. Okay. So you want to stand to the right side okay. of the pole. Grab with your left arm. Okay. Your right arm is thumb down. All right. And then you just want to step in with your inside leg, 
and go like this. <laughs> you can do it. Now, where's my right hand? Right arm is down. Joy. I'll try and catch you, Sherry. <laughs> Do what? Step oh into the leg. Step in. Swing this one around and just make a little cradle. Oh, jeez, Louise. <laughs> like that? Yeah. You, you actually want to curl in. Uh, curl. You're, you're cradling you need, it around your stomach. You need stomach muscles for, for, for this kind of stuff. What? Let's push it What do you do? Let's push it out. Come on, get some Do another one. Do another one as we go, as we, we go, go to rap. You do, yeah, do, do another, another one. one. I'm gonna rap okay. it and you do another one. Right. As we go. Um, We're gonna thank Natasha Wang. We'll be right back. As Barbara does her magic on the apparatic pole, have a great day and take a little time, everybody, to enjoy the what? Yeah.